Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Isaac Angel with Where Are We Going? And I have a very big surprise for you as I am in Germany this time. I always wanted to do a European motorhome and I found one, an, an Ahorn 690. So let's have a look at it. It's a beautiful compact motorhome that is sitting on a 2300 uh, diesel engine by Renault. The total length of the motorhome is 23 feet 10 inches. A little bit shy than 24 feet, which makes it super compact that you can uh, park it anywhere, even in the most dense of cities. The Ahorn 690 has a total height of 9 feet, including the hump in the front, which is a second twin bed for sleeping four. There's a bedroom in the back and the, another bed up front, which we'll get to it once we are inside the motorhome. It's a very standard European chassis. This is a diesel engine, 2300, uh, 2.3 liters, um, but has a very unique feature to it. It's not just diesel. As you know, European standards about the carbon emissions are very strict. Therefore, come with me. They've created a unique technology, what they call AdBlue. This one has 125 liters capacity of AdBlue, which is a solution. I don't want to say if it's basically almost like urine, mixes together with your diesel fuel and basically runs cleaner. So you're not adding to the carbon emissions into the atmosphere. So that's a very unique feature. This AdBlue, it's a clean solution for a cleaner environment. So looking at the cab, it's a basic uh, traditional, yeah, six shift gears, uh, Renault chassis, 2.3 liters, 180 horsepower. As we go around, I want to show you some. Here you have the exterior compartment for your uh, two gas bottles, each of them weighing 25 liter. That's your propane. You have your doorstep, electrically uh, retractable doorstep. These are your ventilations for your refrigerator. Here you have your electrical connection, 30 amp electrical connection right here. Over here in this little compartment, you have the AGM battery. There's a single battery here with two solar panels on the roof. This makes this uh, motorhome um, solar generator, basically. It can create its own power. What I really love about this motorhome is the fact that it's got these huge doors on both sides that leads into a huge cargo hold. With all these racks that are clearly attached to the wall right here, you can actually bring in your uh, toys with you, like uh, electric bikes, even Vespas. I read in the manual that even Vespa, a single Vespa, could actually fit in this compartment. But the beautiful thing is it's got its uh, light in here as well. It's also accessible from the inside. So you have a pass through that you can access some of your belongings in here through the bedroom. And I'm just gonna go around. It's a very clear, clean uh, design with your rear view uh, camera at the top. All LED lights, of course. And here's the other door that leads into the same compartment. Here you have your access uh, to your Truma heater. Uh, and this area, basically this uh, storage uh, space is heated. So that's a very nice feature to have it for winter. Huge doors. And I love the latching system. This is really, really cool. Each door comes with these magnetic uh, hooks. So basically when you open the door, because of the um, those cool magnets that would hold the door in place. Just like that. Here, the Truma exhaust on the outside. I can hear it running, so that's a very nice feature. It's already hot air. And this one has a five gallon 
black tank capacity cassette toilet. It's right here, and to remove it, you basically just pull it out, just like so, with this little cute handle, and you can basically carry it with you to any restroom, whether if it's in a camping ground, in a rest stop, or in a gas station, or even at home. You just take it out, like so, you turn this up, unscrew it, and there's a little ventilation button here, and then it helps to uh, dispose of your fluids in there. I actually personally enjoy this cassette toilet system better than black tanks, because then you don't have to hunt for the black tanks, look for them on the highways, and even pay up to $100 to some campgrounds just to empty your black tank. So, way to go. And that's it. And it sits there comfortably away, no smells, no nothing in the cabin. And here is your freshwater tank, 25 gallons, which is 60 liters freshwater tank, which is, this is where you uh, fill it in with. And um, I'm excited to show you this beautiful Ahorn 690. So let's go inside and have a look, shall we? So we have a beautiful European design, almost like an aircraft door window with privacy curtains so you can actually block the peakers from the outside and as i said a retractable electronic step to allow you inside the cabin well welcome to ahorn 690 it's a beautiful european style very minimalist but very open bright space I cannot believe that I'm actually standing inside a motorhome that is less than 24 feet long, yet I have so much space to move around. And look at this, I'm 5'9", and up here, the ceiling must be at least 8 feet long. This is very, very, very spacious, very comfortable. Right at the entrance, you are welcomed by this beautiful corner kitchen with three burner stove and a sink with a folding faucet just like that and what really makes it beautiful if you're not cooking or if you're cooking but you need to prep so you have all this space when these are closed down you have all this place for prepping or or utilizing however way you like the kitchen has an immediate um, window here this is an insulated window where you can open it like so and push out and it will remain open so even if it's raining outside this awning style windows will remain open and keep the elements of the weather outside while adding fresh air into the cabin while you're cooking so that's a great thing and in, in order to close this all you have to do is just push it out it goes all the way up and then you bring it in and lock it up how cool is that and this window comes with privacy shade, mosquito net, or you can utilize it uh, however percentage you want. Above it, we have a nice big cabinet with great storage space, pretty deep. It's already pre-split for your glassware or whatever you want, or your spices, your coffee, your tea, the baskets that can fit in here. This is very, very classy and very ergonomically appealing design. You have your hooks to hang your stuff. You have your refrigerator right here. It's a two-way refrigerator in here. Pretty nice, pretty deep, so looks great. Lots of drawers. Oh, this is a unique style. Even though I thought it was going to come like this, but it goes straight out with a different kind of an angle. So this is very unique design. And look at the size of this huge drawer. I mean, this is really, really deep, really big to uh, accommodate all kinds of pans, pots, uh, glassware, pla plates, whatever. And I love these latch, this locking mechanism. It will not open until I actually press this to release. This is really, really cool. In here, right behind me, across the kitchen, we have a door. When you open it, you have a beautiful bathroom, a dry bathroom, with the cassette toilet, 
down underneath, which actually rotates for a comfortable seating. If you're a large individual or if you have longer legs, you could actually rotate it to however which direction you like to add more space for your convenience. Underneath the sink, you have a very nice shelved cabinet to store all kinds of stuff, a hanging rack for your towel, a really nice cute corner sink with a little faucet here, a, a frosty glass for privacy that also, just like the ones in the kitchen, opens up in awning style, which you can bring in fresh air for ventilation. That's a great thing. Here, the mirror has another cabinet right behind it. So that's really, really cool. And what I really dig about it is this little motorhome has a dry bathroom. Look at this shower and it's very, very spacious. As you can see, I have a lot of space in here and this is a split closing door, just like that. You can see me, I cannot see it. But the design elements in here are really European upgraded with all these shelving to put your soaps and shampoo bottles and whatever and your shower head. It's really, really nice. And there's also a ventilation hole up there and it's a step in bathtub, which is great. And what I really like about it, when you're in travel mode, when you're driving, in order to protect these glass, comes with a latch and now the door will not open. It will move, it will expand, but it will not unlock or open. And the door is a beautiful, shiny, glossy door with a handle, makes it really, really cool. And I have another door here, as you can see, we'll go into the bedroom. This is a really cool step up that accommodates two twin beds. This is really cool because in the winter or in the summer, when you close the door, this is the small space that you will basically spend energy to heat up or to cool off. So you don't have to worry about the front of the cabin. All, all you need to warm up or cool off is this little area. And for privacy matters, the door basically splits you off from the front of the motorhome. Um, it's got great space to store all kinds of stuff right above the bed. Very nice, deep storage space on both sides. Each side has their own reading light. USB ports to charge your phones, more shelf units right here, a lot of cubbies up here, which you can store all kinds of stuff. The windows, again, both sides has the windows that comes with this split way of privacy and mosquito net. Same kind of a opening style windows on both sides, which brings a lot of air. You open it up, lock it up. This reminds me of Winnebago Echo. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. However, underneath the bed, remember when I told you that huge storage space on outside? This is how you can actually access it. You can open the store and you have access to the same storage from earlier. I know it's a little dark, but that's how you access it let's lock it up and then you have more storage here more shelves and really really deep over there and let's see what this is another storage space look at that there's plenty of storage space underneath the bed and here i have another storage space would you look at that Fantastic. And I want to show you something really, really cool. Up here, underneath the step up, I have a storage space that the owner of this one uses it specifically for shoes. You can use it for whatever your heart desires. But that's a huge space utilized as a storage space. Also, if you are not that kind of a people that would split to sleep with your partner, then don't worry because here, this bed has this 
ability to bring in another piece that is laying right there. I'll show you. You can add that in here with the extra cushion. You can create a king size bed here in the bedroom. The bedroom has also this beautiful lighting, which can be pressed to turn into blue, give you an ambiance light. One more press, it's bright and turn off. I'll turn it on. Here you have the heck. In Europe, they don't put max air fans or any kind of fans. They typically use these hacks. And this one is a hack that comes with a mosquito net. So you can leave it up open and you would not have to worry about any of the critters or mosquitoes. And it's got a very easy mechanism. You can open it all the way up or basically you can close it up and lock. There you go, beautiful hack. Another one here right above the kitchen, same way, beautiful hack with the mosquito net. And finally, here I am at the dinette, which can actually sit down up to six individuals. Beautiful corner with two seat belts. Look at this. This table can turn and rotate to whatever shape or rotation you like, and you can add more seating around and accommodate friends and family for uh, game nights or dinner or anything like that. And not to mention that there's a pedal here on the floor that I press on it. And this goes down. And when you move around the cushions, you can actually create another bed here for a single individual. What's really great, so when the table is down, there's also a little side leaf that opens up and locks into place. And here, this extends out all the way by removing these cushions and put them into place correctly. Then you create another full-size bed. This is an amazing uh, trick. And not to mention that underneath this bench, there's more space for uh, storage. Not a full one because this is where the batteries lay, but there's still space for storage. Um, over here, again, we have more storage space. Very deep, very large, which is great. Same style, very European. Here above this area, this area you have more storage space. Again, pre-shelved on one side and one side is larger so that you can put all kinds of belongings in there. That's very, very nice. Same kind of uh, insulated window with privacy and mosquito nets. Very, very nice LED lighting all around and underneath and uh, charging ports, USB-C. What I really like about this is the fact that like up here, it's so large and so spacious, so tall. We have another double bed in here. All you have to do is just pull this down and you have another bed. There's another bed here. Look at this. It's got two reading lights over there, privacy curtain that will basically separate you from the back. If you have your children here and if you don't want them to fall, you have this safety net that will lock up with these, another one up there, and this will keep children or whoever has the potential to, you know, fall down during a night, not to happen. So that's an added safety feature. And you can see over here, you can see here, you have the cushion for the bedroom, the one that I was mentioning earlier, that would turn that two twin setup into a king. Also, a window here that will open for extra ventilation. Again, with mosquito net or privacy shade. So that's very, very nice. Above, I'm here up above, so might as well. Above the storage space on this one here and that one, you also have a lip area where you can actually store more stuff that makes this small motorhome so big. And while I'm at it right here, you have the control center. Everything is uh, controlled by, by this little panel here. Two, three, one. As you can see, I'm turning on 
the lights on and off um, information. Here it shows you all the tanks and electric electrical batteries and their power levels or their tank capacity. So it's a very nice now the water pump is on I can hear it so you can turn it on and off from here I'll turn it off info off this is beautiful and here is your Truma control center where it controls the heat in the cabin also it's your on-demand water heater well while we're at the door underneath the control center you can see it also has this beautiful screen door to prevent all the mosquitoes to come in and ruin your night or day this is beautiful and in order to come up into the cabin there's a beautiful handle here a sturdy handle so you can actually hold on to assisting you to climb up and right here i have the light controls that will turn off individual areas or everything all together and when i'm in the cab as you can see when the bed is down it takes away from the space only in the cab but if i push it up on these hydraulic uh, legs stands up I have plenty of space which adds to the comfort of your motorhome by swiveling both of the front chairs and now I'm actually in the motorhome ready to entertain added space added comfort to the dinette area and it's super easy to just rotate them you pull them up a little bit and then this lever here, look at this. You're ready to entertain six, even seven people if it's a little child. And I have also one more thing here, which is great for nighttime. If you do not want these wandering eyes, look into your privacy. These curtains are pre-installed here. There's one panel here and there's another one up here that goes all around us and now you have actually full privacy there's also a manual awning unfortunately but it will help you during the summer or the rain and it goes all the way out then you have these legs oh. then you have these legs that extends there we go. And you can actually open it in an angle because if it's raining, then you want to direct the rain into either direction, whether if it's to the back or to the front. It has another leg up here and then like so. How cool is that? And I heard that Ahorn also comes up with an accessory for this awning and exterior that you basically have an inflatable tent that attaches itself onto the base of the uh, awning and all around it and then it adds a whole room with walls on the outside so you have added space to your motorhome and not just open but covered with walls all around you that's a great great feature unfortunately i don't have it on this motorhome right now so I cannot display it so I hope you enjoy this because I certainly have this Ahorn 690 is an amazing motorhome for a small family or even a couple you can sleep here all the way up to six people comfortably so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did if you have any questions please comment below give this video a like which helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel to watch what's coming next. Until the next time, see you on the road.